Hey, 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 Capricorn, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your daily dose of love tarot reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Capri's sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and north node. This won't resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And if you guys want a reading, please go to yoursacredscribe.etsy.com. All right, so let's get to your reading, Capricorn. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Cups. This is your overall energy. The Chariot and the Seven of Wands here for your overall energy. So, wow, brand spanking new love coming in for you, Capricorn. And I feel like it's like coming in from out of nowhere. And you're like, what? So it could be a cancer with the chariot here. I do feel all right. I'm hearing delicate times are ahead. Ooh, Ser delicate times. And I'm hearing serious outcomes. And what I'm getting from this is this person that's coming forward, I feel like it's going to turn serious quickly. And I don't know who you have to tell about this relationship. Like say it's a child, maybe it's an adult child, maybe, I don't know, it's your family members. And for some reason, it's a delicate situation for whatever reason. This is what they're giving me because I don't feel like it's, it's like a problem for you, but I feel it's just, it's delicate. So let's see what the Seven of Wands is. That's why the Seven of Wands, because you're like, I feel like when you, when you tell these people about this new relationship that comes in, you're, you already know you're expecting something. I don't know if they, I don't know what the problem is there. It's going to be different for everybody, but you're in this Seven of Wands state, like you're ready for them. I'm telling you this, with love, but get ready for them, right? Because you see them coming at you. So you are a little, you're on the defense, but you're seeing everything clearly. You already know that it's going to be quote unquote delicate. All right, so three of wands, five of wands, and the two of pentacles. See, this is the conflict. This is the conflict. And I feel like you're in a room of people and you're telling people about this and you've got the people going at the people and you're just standing on the outside. Like, why are you arguing? I'm telling you what's going on in my life. This is my choice. And you've got them arguing over, it's almost like your future, right? When you're just there to say, hey, this is what I've been waiting for. Okay, this is what I've been waiting for. So maybe they expected you to make another choice because the two of pentacles can be a choice, right? All right, Wheel of Fortune. So that's kind of funny. All right, so clarifying the Wheel of Fortune is the Emperor, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. So this person could be somebody that you meet at a place of work, at their place of work, yours, or you work with them. And I don't feel that you necessarily work with them. I feel more that like you're working and all of a sudden, boom, they come in for whatever reason. Maybe they're from another company. Um, or maybe you own your own place and they come in. I don't know, but I feel like they are coming to you and it is an opportunity for you to take, this could be the sky father here, Aries or Taurus energy. What's the chariot? Okay. So we have the sage, we have the movement of wands in the six of cups. So I do feel, well, this person is, is a very high spiritual soulmate with the sage here. Could be a Taurus with the sky father and the sage. I don't feel it's somebody from the past. I feel it's more a soulmate. 
and I'm getting a yes from the past. Okay, and they're coming in quick. The movement of wands, I feel like, and they may be younger. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups, the Moon. See, you don't see this coming, but there's something you got to walk away from in order to embrace this Nine of Cups energy. And maybe that's what this delicate situation is, right? So, your challenge, Capricorn, is the Three of Pentacles, the Innocence of Cups, the Naked Heart, and the Temperance card. Okay. So, being vulnerable. But it's kind of funny because I feel like this person that's coming in is going to want, is going to give you the feeling that you want to be vulnerable. They're going to sort of inspire you to vulnerability. It may be a challenge for you, yes, but you're feeling inspired. So it's 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 a challenge you're willing to take. That's what I'm feeling with the naked heart. I do feel your challenge is to build something with this person. And I feel it's because of this delicate situation. Also, this is this is saying open up your heart again to actually give them your heart i feel because of this seven of wands energy it's like you you could be hesitant and it's only because these people are getting in your head the the this conflict okay it's not even what they're saying to you about it it's just the whole it's the whole scenario it's, it's everything combined, okay? So it's not just one thing. But I feel that you do have guidance, and this guidance will lead you to balance. And when you're in this state of balance, you can build. This is where you build from. And that's your challenge. So let's see. What's temperance? The Earth Mother. And the Star. So expansion, okay, expansion on a wish that you've had, right? A wish for love. And again, we have Taurus energy, but it can also be Libra, Virgo, okay, a mother, because that's the earth mother. All right, clarifying the three of pentacles is the five of pentacles and the sun card. There's this tug of war, the five of pentacles in the sun. It's like the five of pentacles is looking right at the sun. All right. And I'm feeling there's this longing for this happiness. There's this longing for this just sun, you know, in your life. And you feel like you can't get there because you're missing something. Be careful of victim mentality. And again, it goes back to this scenario. Okay. Seven of cups and the seven of swords. Clarifying the innocence of cups. So there's confusion here. There is possible self-sabotage because of this confusion. Two of wands and heart of cups. Clarifying the naked heart. Now, I feel like the key to overcoming this challenge, Capricorn, is being vulnerable, right? It truly is your greatest asset, especially in this reading. Because I feel like everything opens up for you. Everything opens up for you once you open your heart. Because you release resistance, right? And it, it just becomes effortless. All right, so let's see your outcome is the movement of swords, six of wands, innocence of wands, and the judgment card. Okay. Transforming. 
they're giving me the the, the song transformers robots in disguise <laughs> i don't know why they're giving me that and it's funny i usually oh sorry i usually get that with metatron and that's why um it's being said hang on Seeking the soul amidst the chaos, he's saying, with judgment. So, that's interesting. Seeking the soul amidst the chaos. So, it's not even seeking, you know, peace amidst the chaos, which would be temperance. And it's funny, I was feeling that in judgment, and it's the same but different. Seeking the soul amidst the chaos. And that's what you have to do here. And I feel like this is what Metatron's saying, that the energy, the potential energy is here for you to do that. What is your soul saying? What is your soul speaking to you? What is it saying? Spirit of Cups. What is the spirit of your soul? Tell me, movement of swords. The Eight of Swords. See, getting out of your head here. Okay? Taking your time to really communicate with yourself. All right? With spirit. Innocence of Wands, Six of Wands. All right? Finding the courage here. Right? Here we have the Sun energy again with strength. This Leo energy. And I don't know why, Capricorn, this Leo energy is so it seems to be so prominent right now with everybody leo energy you've got strength and six of wands and i feel like it's going to take courage for you to stand up and say yes this is what i want and for you to understand that you're going to be getting a lot of attention because of the decisions that you're making but they're victorious you are manifesting this, and this is the message that you're giving them. Listen, this is my manifestation, right? I use my magic wand, not yours. This is my result. So, let's get advice. Eight of wands and five of cups, yes. So no more feeling sad about the past Capricorn. Get excited about the future. This is what spirit is saying, okay? So Capricorn, this is what I have for you. I hope that resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already have it. If you're interested in a personal reading, uh, that way this is more specific to you, please go to yoursacredscribe.etsy.com and There'll be a variety of readings there for you. Make sure you're in the right spot. There are a lot of scammers out there. I had to get the, the links out from below. So have a good one, and I will catch you on the flip side of your daily dose of Love Tarot. Namaste.